wild ones, it's Cyprus. Over the last few years, there's been a growing trend in fashion, makeup, accessories, to celebrate a witchy aesthetic. Now, some of us still around remember when maybe that wasn't such a good idea. But it's popular now. Personally, I'm a long time fan of the witchy aesthetic. So I thought I would take it upon myself to share with you 13 of my tips for cultivating a witchy aesthetic. Ready? Let's dive in. Number one, live with a black cat. Or two. Number two, dress yourself in a manner that reflects both dark goth and bohemian flair. It will simultaneously reflect your serious dark mystery and your earthy casual flair. Wear this boho goth uniform everywhere. Ooh. Yes. This outfit is absolutely appropriate for a small town grocery store on a Tuesday morning in June. Nailed it. Three. Invest in an utterly unusable but attractive broom and display it prominently in your home. The accumulation of negative energy is far more pressing than dirty floors. Number four, collect rocks, shells, sticks, leaves, bones, feathers, and use them to ornament your home. Basically, the more dead things you have, the better. If you defend your collection cheerfully enough, no one will ever think you're totally creepy. Number five, clear negative energy from your space regularly. Burn incense daily and smudge frequently in lieu of solid psychiatric help for anxiety and depression. Place salt lamps in every room of your home 
next to appliances and electronics. All those beneficial negative ions completely cancel out hours and hours of screen time. Number six, regularly hold conversations with deceased loved ones. Oh, hey grandma. No, I didn't forget to defrost the tuna. Grandma? Oh, <laughs> number seven, cultivate an unhealthy and obsessive relationship with candles. tarot and oracle cards. Random symbols on cards are much more reliable than logic and evidence for sorting out life. The Five of Swords. Really? I already knew that. Nine. Be friends with trees. But you are throwing some serious shade right now. Oaks, they are fair weather friends. Seriously, they're so much fun. But the minute cold weather comes, all those friendly leaves just disappear. I'm going to turn their bark on you. You're left with nothing but his little acorns running around. Don't get me started on oaks. Ten. Be sure to place salt, herbs, and essential oils into otherwise perfectly clean bath water.
fully cleaning your aura is, of course, the primary goal of any good soak in the tub. Eleven. Like a dragon, hoard crystals, gems, and semi-precious stones. Loose, carved, or jewelried forms are all acceptable. Collectively, these items will make up for all emotional instability and nervous exhaustion in your life. Twelve. Always season food like a character from Macbeth. <laughs> Bubble. Bubble. Number 13. Decorate for Halloween like you mean it.
Number 14. And this one's very important. Never, never, never must you ever be caught dead wearing striped tights and a pointy hat. Absolutely never. There you go. There are my 13 tips for cultivating a witchy aesthetic. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and maybe a little entertaining. If you'd like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You can follow me between videos on Facebook and Instagram. Wild thing opinion time. Did you enjoy this video? If so, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, everybody, keep your magic wild. I know this conifer. I know, I know, but he's a real stand up guy. Number six. Freaking cars! Cars keep driving by. I could show him your picture. Until, until the cars go by. Everybody just go home. Don't do it every 15 seconds. Just all of you go and just be done. Oh, sure. Roundup will take a few extra leaves off. I'm not saying it's not effective, but it's not healthy. Lose the leaves naturally. It takes a little longer, but it's way healthier. Woman, your root ball does not make you look bigger. I don't know what you're saying. Did you talk to the locust recently? That girl has not trimmed her ivy in a full season, I swear. <laughs> that girl has ivy leaves growing halfway up her trunk. not trimming at all. Dang. It, it, it's like a freaking jungle. Just because you can walk through walls doesn't mean they're no longer relevant. I'm telling you, the 70s are back with a vengeance.